Ladies and gentlemen, today we are continuing our journey to become the Palito King. Let me quickly explain. We started over in Grand Theft Auto Online with the goal to buy every single property in Palito Bay. Here's the catch. All the money we make must start in Palito Bay too. And that? Well, that turned into a bigger challenge than we all expected. If you haven't seen the first episode, I highly recommend checking it out. I'll leave a link in the comments. But to quickly recap, we started off with the scrapyard. We bought this clubhouse at a ton of Seely Wheelie Mission that ate ton of towing, and after a lot of pain and suffering, we finally managed to buy the bunker. So we are well on the way, and we crossed off a fair few of the buildings that we need to buy, and now we can stop making the real money. At least in a perfect world, that is what would have happened today. It's good to be back. As you may have noticed, snow is still falling in Palito Bay. That's because it's so far up north and has nothing to do with the fact that I recorded the first day of this episode all the way back in December. If anything, this truly shows how much of a pain in the ass it is to make any progress up here. But I am for one looking forward to the melting of the snow because I'm sick and tired of all the carnage that damned E. Cola truck brings up here and I want nothing to do with the Yeti anymore and the snow can suck a whole buffet of fat di Oh my god. And just like that, the snow is gone and it's now springtime. And since I've not been sitting still on the first day of recording, I decided to celebrate by ticking off another part of this challenge. I no longer sleep in my garage, but I'm an actual Palito Bay homeowner. And ladies and gentlemen, we are looking so damn good right now. Not only did springtime yeet the snow away, we also got some brand new money-making endeavors right on our Palito doorstep. We can do a little wildlife photography and this job is made for me because I love wildlife and wildlife loves me. What did I land next to? Oh, no! <laughs> Now, before we sink our teeth into that, we need to get the scrapyard up and running. For me, it's important to keep two vehicles in an establishment at all times, because that right there is the bread and butter of all my money making. But after about 20 minutes of towing, and keep that time in mind, it's time to start snapping. First up, Cougar. Fuck. No, closer. What do you mean closer? I don't want to die. Did he just walk off the damn cliff, by the way? Yep, he did. That's great. He's just sleeping. Damn it. But then I remembered. Sometimes you need to lure animals with meat. And what better meat than intern? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Touché. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Run. Rufa, Rufa, keep him busy. Come here. Rufa, here. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This way. This way. This way. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> the next two animals were easy and peasy and blam. Holy shit. That is a very easy $100,000. And if we keep that up, we will have this challenge done in about five months. Which, if I put it like that, it sounds absolutely horrible. But the scrapyard is scrapyarding. The animals have been snapped. So let's do some work on the bunker. And let me tell you, this thing is high maintenance. But this resupply mission did kind of make up for it. Go, 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 go. Oh, God, that's a tank. That's a tank. That's a tank. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Rufa, Rufa. Oh, that's a big boy gun. That's a very big one. Holy shit, look at this. Want some? Go get some. And after a brutal slaughter, we made it back to the bunker. <laughs> look at him go. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Ain't no way. That is... Okay. <laughs> oh, my God, a more bullet hole than man. Foolishness aside, the money was well and truly rolling in, but the vast majority came from the scrapyard. And I could not shake that feeling that the bunker was just too much work with no return. Because the way I'm seeing this place, I do all this work and sometimes I buy all these supplies. And I'm getting absolutely nothing back from it. Except the opportunity to drive this slow ass truck across the map when I could be doing some other cool stuff. Did someone order some guns? But maybe my vision was clouded. And then I remembered the wise words of my most trusted advisors. And he told me that this is probably the best business to make big money.
This is probably your best business to make big money. And then he said I was doing amazing. Evans, you're an idiot. Then he sang me the 98 classic Witch Doctor by the cartoons. Now for real foolishness aside, I did actually have a conversation about what I should do next with GTA men and that conversation went something like this. You know what, just for that, GTA man, I'm gonna prove you wrong and I'm gonna prove- Evans, I wish- it, Look, if you if you make that decision, don't ever come back to me and complain like, oh, this is taking too long, la la la, because you, you are making the worst possible investment you can possibly make. You know what? If you are, just, if you are, just for that, I'm gonna buy it right are now. Buying that arcade, no, it's not I if. Wish you the best of luck Boom, done. Several... You are an actual moron. Done. It's you done. Are, you are. Well, I guess I am. It's, it's not about being a more. Just... The king is providing entertainment. If you do not provide entertainment, the people will rebel. You have never. You have never. <laughs> Young up on me. I up on me. I look like a fool now. And thus the advisor had spoken, and I did the exact opposite and demoted the most trusted advisor to the court jester like the good king I am. And look, can you fault the king for following his heart to tend to the needs of the masses? So let's get to it. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together. In the snow, in the rain, or the ice cold wind, whenever. No matter. Any weather, we're together. Well, 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 won't you look at this? <laughs> Isn't this absolutely fantastic? And there she is, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, bask in the penetrators. The good people of Palito Bay rejoice. We have the scrapyard for work, the MC clubhouse for leisure, the arcade for entertainment, and the bunker to arm every single citizen of Palito Bay when the time comes and we need to expand to annex neighboring towns. And showing them city folk what's up is what we'll be doing right here. The Palito Bay boys are facing off in a race against the clock. First things first, we need to grab intel. There's a shipment of some shit somewhere and we want it. <laughs> Rufa, what the f***? You weren't in front of- We figured out what the shit was that we want by shooting up a police station and it was an armored limousine. And that would be a fantastic asset to have for the king in the north, but a city dweller had other plans. But we brap and took off the limo, but another one of them city folk came after us and the biggest chase ever began. Oh shit, uh, someone's taking the off ramp on our left. Uh, get away! Open fire! I'm going as straight as I can. The straight as you've ever gone. You're gonna be fine, son. You hang in there. And we were a butt hair away from getting our cheeks viciously clapped, but not today. And then we made twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> Quite a substantial amount of time has passed since we bought our arcade and our funds have been topped up nicely. It's been a non-stop flow of money making. We come in each day, we tow two cars, we take the pictures, we tend to our bunker, we do the car theft missions. It was there that we had a bit of a reality check with the arcade. All that hard work and what do we have in here? Wa-bang. Oh my god, the jackpot. I had no goddamn clue. This thing would only make 5,000 bucks per hour. I fucking told you so. This made me think about our next course of action. I feel we are ready. We are ready to do a cell mission. So I called GTA man to bless this mission. And he told me that I could do it. Okay, what do we have? Oh, monster trucks. Three. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, this is a bad idea. Oh my god. It's fine though, just find a new session. 14 minutes. You don't have enough time, Evans. If I do it now, maybe I'll make it. No, Sonny, if you... I can do it. It's three vehicles. You know, so you again. We have three vehicles to deliver. And in front of me, the dreaded river. This river right here has been the bane of my existence ever since I laid eyes on it. But let me tell you, this is where the bad luck streak ends. Okay, I'm gonna make a jump too. I've always fucked this jump chat, but not this time. Oh no. Any hopes of even breaking even on this money making, we'd have to deliver two monster trucks bare minimum. And well, the rest of the mission was a combination of humps, bumps, rolls, and other tumfuckers. But I need to have hope. I spent $375,000 on supplies for the bunker, and after completing the mission, 
I made a loss of $150,000 on my first sell mission. Polito giveth, Polito taketh. And this time, Polito tooketh 150 grand. But we some way, somehow still managed to make enough money to buy a whole new business and upgrade one business. And so, yeah. The arcade does not make jack shit. Yes, my first bunker mission went completely tits up. And maybe, just maybe, I should have listened to GTA, man. And so, so I did what any good king does. I bought upgrades for the MC Clubhouse. What the <gasps> fuck? We traveled 1300 miles. We spent nearly 40 hours, but most importantly, we are officially at the halfway point of this challenge and we only need seven more properties and, well, included in that is the goddamn yacht. And how that will go, you find out on the next episode of Polito King. Here's a fun fact. Ulrich gifted so many memberships that I can't make a proper list anymore. So now all members have to thank him that the names scroll by at a million miles per hour. Good luck finding your name. If you want to become a member, tickle that join button and just hop on in. You got a lot of the good shit in the members only now. Anyway, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.